and welcome to OneMileStreet.co.uk. My name is John Lightfoot and this is... It's John Murphy. And we're here to help you, hopefully, find the wine, if not the wines, that you will absolutely adore. And on this occasion, we are tasting another, yet another, celebrity wine. Now, this is a combination of uh, two celebrities, really. 19 Crimes has a global presence in terms of the wine market. You know, <coughs> lots of people have heard of it in lots of countries. And this time they've teamed up. Now, normally 19 Wines is dealing with Australian wine, but on this occasion, they've actually gone to California and they've teamed up with a rapper. I wish I knew what one of those was. A rapper that is called uh, Snoop Dogg. But it's got two G's, not one. So evidently this guy is a real cool customer um, and you know, he's really hip. Is that, is that every, work? Every, every part of this is embarrassing. <laughs> every part of this. Yes, you are indeed correct. Uh, we are, we are, it's 19 Crimes, uh, which most of you will have heard. Uh, I've seen they're, they're available in most supermarkets and, and, and they tend to be very, very popular. Um, but yeah, we, we have one which is endorsed by Snoop Dogg. Yeah, and I have to say, I mean, I have to bring this to the fore because you know what I'm like. This costs £24.99, £25 a bottle. <coughs> Now, you know, we, you will be able to see a review here of the rosé as well, Snoopy Dogs rosé. So that's £50. Pounds. Snoop, Snoop, Snoopy Dogs, not just Snoop Dogs. <laughs> Snoopy, isn't it? Is it Snoopy? Is it double G? <laughs> Snoopy Dog. Oh, Snoggy, Snoggy, Snoopy. Snoopy Dogs. Snoopy. 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 Yeah, Snoopy. Now that I'm a massively into rap band, he's just, it's not, I think he'd, he'd be offended if he called him Snoopy Dog. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, uh, Snoopy. I don't... John, he's not watching this. I can assure you. So well, he might be. Him. I mean, yeah, he might be trying to pick up some new talent or something. <laughs> for he's his, found it right for, here. For his the band. For his band. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I, I might be completely wrong. Of course, yeah. 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 So, so obviously, um, and I believe that obviously 19 crimes is the 19 crimes that people were ex uh, exp not exported, were expatriated from, from the UK if they committed one of these 19 crimes and they were sent off to Australia. And uh, 19 crimes view <coughs> uh, Snoop Dogg to be the same sort of embodiment of the rascal that these people were. And that's why they've teamed up with him to produce this wine from California. So, shall we have a little go on the nose? <laughs> After listening to that, Jenny, I am, I'm, I am gagging to have a look at that on the nose. Uh, Snoop Dogg, if, you, if by any chance you are watching, I sincerely apologise. Yeah, I, uh, didn't, I didn't mean any offence, it's just, you know, I don't... <laughs> Stupid. I don't know, you know, I'm, not, he's from ignorance, not from... Uh, he did, of course, to... of course. So, let, let, let us get into the wine then, John, after that fabulous introduction. So, colour, colour. Let me see where we usually start. Oh, the, the colour. We usually start the oh, colour. Let's go for the colour, yeah, quite so, yeah. So, it's really deep, isn't it? It's yeah, very, right. very, a purple rim. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's that. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's got a sort of like a, uh, a brownish tinge to it. Yeah. Or would you I say tawny? I'd say, I would say tawny. Yeah, you would, because you you're posh. A posh, there's nothing posh about me. But yeah, yeah, I see where you come from with, with that Tony. I'm with you. So let's get straight onto the nose. Okay, the nose. Oh, the I'm nose. looking forward to this. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah. That gives up a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a... Um... Wow, yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm going to say, throw straight out of the one. I'm, I'm getting some real big blackcurrant and jamminess in there. The jam and... and... I'm getting jammy. I'm not getting blackcurrant. And pepper. Pepper's in there. Pepper? Pepper. What sort of pepper? Black pepper, like, like red pepper, pepper? Yeah, yeah. Not bell pepper, black pepper. I thought that rang a bell with me. Um, I... <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to apologise. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, no, this is... This is um, there's a lot going on in there. There is. It's really interesting. It's, it smells lush. I mean, I have to say, it smells lush. Lush is a very good, good description. Yeah. Do you mind if we have a taste? No, go for it. I can't. No, this is the kind of wine where you can sp spend like you know a lot of time smelling in there and just thinking, anticipating, thinking what's what's going to come of that. I've, I can smell this. I can smell that. So what what am I going to get from it? 
So it makes you, well, I'm sure you've been there yourself, where you're having that, that smell, oh, it makes your mouth water, and then you think, oh, what's going to be like, the anticipation. So, yeah, let, let's go for it, John, let's go for it. Mm. I still can't get that. Mmm. Uh... That is very, very nice. I haven't got, I still can't get the black currant. I couldn't get that on the nose. I can't really get that on the taste. Mm. It's very full. The mouthfeel is beautiful. It's very, very silky. Mm -hmm. um, and the length, unusually the length, um, the taste sort of stays there. So if you normally, you would expect it just to sort of go down gradually. This sort of seems to me to have sort of whopped down quite quickly, but then holds. So it's all the taste sort of drops down to about 30%. And then just holds and it's still continuing to hold. That's so. I see what, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Like it, it dissipates to a certain extent, but then when it, when it gets to that percent, it, just, it holds it on just with hangs that. It holds on in, yeah. Mm. Maybe yeah. there's a little smokiness in there, and I don't know where, that, where that's come from, but. The... No, it's, I believe Snoopy Dog and, and Weed. Is that smoke? Oh, so you do know about Snoopy Dog. <laughs> he does, uh, uh, apparently, allegedly, smokes a lot of. Um, well, I, I, it's legal where he do, where he smokes it, so that's quite. Kind of, so that, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. I, I only know because my daughter, who's a few hundred years younger than me, mentioned it. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Well, but, well, I mean, I don't know what part. Well, obviously, I don't think he's pay, playing any part in making the wine. Um, but what he has endorsed here is actually actually very very nice. But then we'll, now let's come back to the um, price because I know it's playing on your mind. Oh, do we have to? I know it's playing on your mind. It is playing on my mind. Um, but I, I was I was just drinking this, enjoying it, and I was thinking, mm, this is delicious. This is delightful. It's got all those flavours that you want. Um, but then then it came then I came back to the video and thought, right now it's twenty five pounds. Is this is this twenty five pounds worth of wine? Have we t have we tasted We'll say better, but something similar on a similar level for much less money. Yeah, I think the answer is we have. I mean, I think if if I was to price this a comparative to other wines that we've tasted that have been a good, I'd sort of say fifteen, sixteen pounds. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the thing is that you do. I, I do appreciate that you actually start sort of with a very very steep curve that you start to pay a lot more for a little bit of a benefit. I did read that this is one of the cheaper California wines, so maybe the twenty four ninety nine is because it's coming from California and that area where wines are more expensive. Mm. Do you think? No, mm, I don't know. Oh, not. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, if this was fifteen pounds or sixteen pounds a bottle, I'd say yo, go for it. I, you know, I would, I would really, really go for this. It is a beautiful wine. I'm just not sure if. Personally, as so that's down to my taste buds, personally, I'd be prepared or I could afford to, um, or could afford to be buying this as an everyday wine. And one of their retailers in the UK did say it was, you know, a nice everyday wine. I wouldn't call it an everyday wine, not at 25 pounds. Mm, I don't know if you can describe any, any wine at 25 pounds as an everyday drinking wine. Um, not unless, unless, you, unless, unless you're, you're Donald Trump. Lost, uh, yes, there is that. But no, describing any £25 bottle of wine as an everyday wine, I'm not sure it's quite true. Now, coming back to the price of the wine. Um, now, I've enjoyed it, I have enjoyed it, and, and as John was just saying there, like, it, it's a nice wine. But I have tried many more. It would be an experience, if anybody was looking to have a go, you know, more expensive wine, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, it is, it's nice, but... This is the thing, it's nice. If I'm drinking a 25 pound bottle of wine, it needs to be more than nice. Yes. Do you, do, do you know what I mean? Oh, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> oh, you've paid for it. But yeah, it's, it, <clears throat> so let's come back then now, now and um, let's look at the pairings and let's, let's say, uh, let, uh, judge the, um, the score and things. So for, uh, pairing wines for me, uh, obviously with the cheese, ooh, um, I think this would take on a blue cheese. Um, well, well, I know it would because within there, I don't know if I mentioned like the tannins are, 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 are not very apparent as such, which is which is a good thing for it, which almost makes it taste sweet. And that's the jamminess that comes in there. So for me, I'd be half tempted to lean that towards a blue cheese, um, something which is not overly salty but has that nice little hint in there. And I'd even go so far as to say, like, 
York, Yorkshire Blue. Again, Shepherd's Purse. I, I, I recommend them quite a lot. But yeah, Shepherd's Purse, Yorkshire Blue. That, I think, would match lovely with that. Yeah. No, I agree. I think, well, you're the expert, but I, I can really um, hear you there and understand that. I think what my mind, my mind was going, and just because I've had this dish recently, um, I think that this would go with a, a burgundy beef. I wouldn't actually spend £25 in using this as the, the wine um, to, to put in the meat. But basically, burgundy beef um, is, uh, obviously, as its name suggests, is a sort of beef casserole. It's beef with uh, red wine added, uh, some Worcester sauce splashed in there, uh, some prunes uh, put in there, de, de stone prunes, uh, some tomato puree, and then just sort of cook for a few hours on, the, on, on a low heat. And I reckon this would go excellently with that. Once again, John, you're just getting my juices. It's like, oh yeah, it, just, it, sound, it sounds delightful, it sounds delightful. Um, so, scoring. Now scoring. this is going to be a, quite a... Yeah. Um, do you want me to go first? As you know, I'm probably the one that's more sensitive to the price tag than you. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to stop you. OK, so I'm, I'm going to go. And I'm, I'm struggling here between two numbers. Um, and so I'm, I'm aware the price is having a big impact on me. So I'm going to go for the higher one of the two numbers. And I'm going to go for 79. Yes. OK, yeah, I see that. I see that. And um, I, 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 to be fair, I've not actually really thought about um, um, I scored just yet, so I'm going around it now. And I'm thinking, well, this, this style of wine, it is nice, it's 25 pounds. I think, I think I'm think i gonna hmm, move a little bit lower than you, John. I'm gonna go down to 77. Okay, I mean, I, I was thinking if, if this was like 15 pounds a bottle, then it would have been up there at sort of 85, 86. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But obviously, you know, Snoopy's gotta take his cut. Um, and Snoop. <laughs> not your phone going Snoop. What is it? It's not Snoopy. Snoop, Snoop, Snoop but, uh, Snoop. He's not going to be a fan. He's not going to watch this. He's not. No, I think no. we should send it to him. <laughs> 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 hey, I'm Snoop. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> but we're not, not going to do that. Okay. No, 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 no. You're probably, I don't, I, no, I don't upset anyone. I mean, you know, you're not. No, you're not upsetting anybody. I, I think it would, it would take that good. No, I, excuse I, me. If I, I reckon I, Snoop and uh, we, we could have a glass of wine together. I yeah. Reckon. Yeah, absolutely, and, and I'm sure he's a great guy. I just don't know him, so um, I, obviously it's you know a commercial enterprise. They they're using his name, and he's using his name to make some money. Totally get that, and I'm sure if you know you wanted to bring this to a party, the fact that you've got Snoopy Snoop on on it, it would uh, bring you some cachet. I'm sure also. Yeah. So anyway, and um, there's an another fabulous wine we've tried, John. So. Yeah. Until until the next video. Yeah, until the next video. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Please feel free to comment. Um, don't be too hard on us. Uh, and so until the next time, we'll see you there. Chin chin. Chin chin.